Happy Easter. Well, it's not. Con it is Easter, uh, but it's not just an Easter video. It's a bit of a tips video. So we've got loads of tips. Well, not loads. A few tips for you. So keep watching and see uh, if they're any good or not. They might be rubbish. Right then. Um, so. It's a bit of an infill video this one. Uh, I couldn't really think of a lot to do, so uh, I thought some tips. People, if, if you're away in your van, um, you might want to just go and hide and do some things around the van. And so I thought some tips would be perfect. If you've not gone away, again, you might just want to go and hide and do some bits and little jobs. Um, first one is awning rails. Um, little bends in awning rails, especially the, the bottom rails like this. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. I've got lots of little little bends. Now mm. they do do a proper little tool um, that will go in, but you can, instead of spending the money on a proper tool, you can just get a flat-headed screwdriver like this one. Use a fairly biggish one, um, and then it's just literally just working the dent back out. And again, don't go crazy with it. Uh, it's just literally, and this will work the same on, on the awning rails. Um, so you're not going to get them perfect, but it's just a way that you can get the majority of the dent out. The little proper tools, um, they're not that expensive, and you normally put them in and then knock, knock them round, but to be fair, they don't do a great job. Um, that's typical, isn't it? There's no bends in the awning roll, but Always literally... Away. Literally, just as I've, as, I've, as, I've, as I've showed you there, got another one there. Uh, really good for these bottom rails. Um, it's just working them back out. And again, especially if you can't get your awning skirt in there, obviously not on this side. Um, but just working along, just gently, a uh, little tiny bit at a time. just working it just so that what you have to be careful is that you don't end up putting a load of little kinks in so that's why you need to be quite gentle uh, and just do a small little bit and again it can just make it look a lot better while I've got the um, screwdrivers in my hand another one is you might have gone away in your van and found that your fly screens and blinds aren't retracting properly now if you've got the cassette type blinds like these ones here uh, these are these are working but they're just a little bit a little bit slow now normally on the left hand side is where you're going to find the little adjusters now you've got a little flat-headed screwdriver slot now a big screwdriver is going to be too big so you're going to want to use a, a medium size a medium large sized um now you have to be really careful with this i might try and do one how you shouldn't do it just so that you know how not to do it um, but basically you'll put your screwdriver in and then push it in twist it and then it's trying to actually get the the little section out as so now this is the tricky bit because what people normally do is they let this spin around and causes a right nightmare so if you just put it against the edge i don't know whether you can see that clearly on there and you can keep you can keep the pressure now against it and tighten this back up don't have to go mad unless it's uh, just not going back up completely and then it's a case of trying to now just wiggle it back in half a turn back in and that should keep that correct and just tighten your, your blinds back up you've got to be really careful if it does pop out and it spins and it it's just literally a case of starting again um get a load of tension on there at first it'll be quite easy so don't worry it, it, you just keep going keep going keep going until it gets quite tight and then try and do it as i've just shown you there put it against the side of it and then do it up until it's quite tight put it back in test it if you think that it needs more just do exactly the same um, but it's just trying to keep on enough pressure on your screwdriver that it doesn't come out of the end try and get a screwdriver that fits nicely into the little slot at the end and that should hopefully make life easier if it all goes completely wrong don't blame me um 
structure you should you should be able to do it. and then your end caps will literally just push back on and just keep it nice and tidy uh, again to do with fly screens and blinds and uh, this one is really good sometimes you'll get little black bits um little black marks all over the the fly screens and they look horrendous let me have a quick look and i think i've got one have a look at that bathroom one and let me get some uh, bits and pieces to play with yeah So hopefully you can see all the little black marks. Now, the best thing that we've found to get this off with is, is actually bleach. Uh, now, I know a lot of people are gonna go mad at me um, because a little amount of bleach in the caravan um, is, is better. But on your fly screens like this, just pop a little bullet of bleach onto either a little cloth, I've got a little magic sponge here, and then just work it in. You've got to be quite careful not to go crazy and put a big hole in there. And um, just literally working it across. And then when you feel that you need a bit more bleach on there, just little by little, don't go absolutely mad. Just working a little bit at a time and then again if you feel that you need to get them from the other side you can open up the the window and then just get them from the other side what it's worth doing is just get a sponge or a little cloth with just water on and again just dab back over there and just try and remove as much of the bleach as possible um, I did try earlier I tried some of the elbow grease because you can get this for about a pound from um, the, the pound chops being them places like that uh, wasn't quite as good as the bleach in all honesty. Um, so just normal normal household bleach off the floor. Um, so just just normal household bleach does the does the job. Let's have a look at the next tip. Uh, right then, next tip, scratches. Um, I don't know whether you'll pick this up on the camera, but we've got some little light scratches. Now the polish that we use has got a, a slight cutting paste in it. Um, but what you can use if, if you haven't got a polish with a cutting paste in is a little bit of um, tea cut. That's what they call it, isn't it? Yeah, tea cut. Tea so Halfords, anywhere like that. Um, and it's literally then just working your tea cut into the whole window. And it's not worth just doing a part of the window. It's worth doing all of it. Um, just be careful that you don't go mad with the pressure on the window uh, and let the tea cut sort of do the, do the work. And then any areas that you've got particular scratches, just work it in a little bit more. I uh, don't know whether you can see sort of there. Uh, actually, the, the polish that I'm using is just catching the, uh, the actual scratch. So I'm just going to work in on the areas where we've got the scratches. As I say, the tea cup will do this a lot quicker and a lot better than this polish that I'm using because it's just got a slight bit of tea cut in the in the polish, but not a lot. Whereas the tea cut's just neat and it's just a cutting paste, um, and again that will just cut out any of the little scratches really, really easily and really quickly. They do do proper um, proper little tubes window cleaning solution uh, for scratches um, but basically it's a tea cut that's all that it is it's a little cutting paste um, so it's no different you can actually buy a complete bottle of tea cut for the price of a tiny little tube of the window stuff um, and if you go over with your tea cut first and then use a polish uh, and again car polish anything that you, you, you polish your car with 
um, should be absolutely fine after you leave used your teacup and that will get your windows like new again uh, even if they're real deep scratches um, if you're using your teacup you just work it into the scratch sort of work it along where the scratch is and then work it in all different angles and then sort of work from the scratch and work out and then do the whole window as I say and then finally go over it with a polish if it needs a little bit more just go back into the individual little scratches but that should get your windows looking absolutely spot on uh, and like like new again and any little scratches then will come out really really easily i can't even see where that was now no it's gone completely no, and that as i say it? that isn't a proper that's more just of a polish rather than um, a, a complete cutting agent so you put a bit of tea cut on there first and it will cut it back up really nicely a bit of polish afterwards and the windows will come up like brand spanking now right next tip lose a few pounds yes you i'm talking to you you there yeah i know it's, you've been on about you losing a few pounds for ages and you've not done it have you so now is the time to do it don't eat all those easter eggs no, no i don't mean that oh. i mean in a caravan oh everyone every single time we get somebody come in and they'll say oh i'm going to bring my party exchange in i'm just going to swap the stuff from my old van into my new one two days later three car falls later and they're going i can't believe i've not oh, where's all this i don't know I, i've got stuff here i haven't seen for years didn't even know it was in there if you're not going away for the easter weekend and you're at home and you've got the caravan at home Go through the caravan, open up all the cupboards, all the drawers, look underneath of all your seats, in all your lockers, and figure out whether you really need to take it with you. Um, people are carrying so much extra weight around, and I don't mean personally, I mean in the caravan, that should, am I allowed to say that? What? Is that being a bit harsh? No, I don't think so. So, it's a good time to have a declutter. Go through the caravan and make sure that you actually need all the things that you've got in there. If you don't, take them out. Little plastic boxes, little see-through plastic, plastic boxes that you can either stack up in a spare room or in a garage. Um, so all the things that you sort of think, well, I might need that and I might need that and oh, well, if it's gonna do this or it's gonna do that, I might, or if we go there, I'm gonna need that. Go through plastic boxes clear see-through plastic boxes that you can write on put all your individual so if you say right beach things in this one kids toys in this one games in this one and then you can sort of go away and say right i'm going to need to take that what box with me this time i'll take that with me or oh, i don't need that obviously your normal essentials so your gas your water your waste all the bits you've, you've got to take that all the all the time with you but have a look around your caravan and you'll be surprised at how much stuff that you've got in there that you then go, why the hell am I taking this with me? I didn't even know I'd got it. I've bought three more since I've bought, well, I didn't even know I'd got it and I've bought more. So just have a go through. In all of, open your front locker up, have a look in all the little areas that you've not looked in for ages and just declutter. Um, because we see it all the time. People will come in and they'll say, oh no, no, I've got hardly anything in my van. Next to night, it'll only take me five minutes to swap my stuff over. It won't, it'll take ages. Right, so hopefully I'll give you enough tips there to keep you going over the weekend and over the bank holiday. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.